Migration Series is a Noxos world premiere recording inspired by three distinct artistic journeys. That of artist Jacob Lawrence, poet Eugenio de Andrade, and composer Bella Bartok, across the ocean from distant lands. Migration Series is a five movement work for jazz orchestra and symphonic orchestra. My piece was inspired by Jacob Lawrence's epic work, The Migration Series, which consists of 60 paintings that he made during the period 1940 to 41. In this recording, you'll hear the Juilliard Jazz Orchestra ably led by James Burton, and they just put their heart and soul into learning this piece, which is a difficult piece, and to melding their sound with the sound of the orchestra. And of course, I appreciated their work and their energy, their focus in working on a piece like this, which was, I think, something different than anything they had done before. Also on this CD is Mar de Setembro, which is a song cycle based on the poetry of the great Portuguese poet Eugenio de Andrade. Fado has a very distinct quality of what's called saudades, which is a kind of melancholy and a longing for which there is no real words. And uh, I was lucky to work with the Brazilian soprano Luciana Souza. She's a wonderful singer. Um, she sings in many different Brazilian styles, uh, among them bossa nova and choro. This work was a commission from the Los Angeles Chamber Orchestra, and Luciana sang the premiere, and I was really thinking of her gorgeous voice when I wrote this piece. It's five short songs, all based on the poetry of Eugenio de Andrade. Portugal is very much a part of my life, uh, as I have many Portuguese in my family. Uh, but the, the language is so musical in itself, and I think it's this that I was hypnotized by in the poetry of Eugenio de Andrade, uh, the kind of flow and beauty of the language, the seductiveness of the language, and it's all this that's highlighted by Luciana Souza's beautiful singing. I wrote a shout, a whisper, and a trace as my New York piece. Uh, I had never really written a work that was specifically about New York because it's kind of hard to talk about where I'm from. So when I sat down to write this work, I needed to look through the eyes of someone else. And that happened to be the composer Bela Bartok, who is one of my favorite composers. Bartok's time in New York was tumultuous. He spent time trying to navigate the subway. He, uh, he found it chaotic. He found Americans hard to understand and figure out. He went from being quite a celebrity in his home country to being somebody who had to really start again. Bartok traveled to New York for the last time in 1940, and he stayed when he came over. Uh, he migrated from Hungary, his beloved home, uh, because of what was going on in the war with the Nazis. At a time when he was elderly and, in fact, sick with leukemia, and he only had five years to live, although he and others didn't know it at the time. So it's quite a fraught period of Bartok's life, but he produced some of the most beautiful music during this period, including his concerto for orchestra. One of the things I love about Bartok's music is that he's able to transplant elements of traditional music into concert music that he writes. And it's very powerful. It takes on a different kind of frame. And so uh, this work is really a tribute to Bartok, to all that he gave the classical tradition. I'm so happy that this CD is available on Noxos and I'm very grateful to the Albany Symphony uh, and to Silas Brown, the producer, for all the work they did. And of course, to David Allen Miller, 
their phenomenal conductor and music director.